welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are introducing our new set Critter Concert and its coordinating dice. We are also introducing our new dice set Little Music Notes, which is so cute. So let's go ahead and check them out. Now first up we have an owl playing the violin. We have a bear playing the trumpet. We have a fox playing the French horn, of course. <laughs> a raccoon playing the flute. And then we've got this little bird and she can be a conductor or she can be a percussionist. So there's her conductor's baton. We have some cymbals, a tambourine, and a triangle with a little mallet as well. We have a music stand, and then we have sheet music, which you can add to the music stand or not, depending on how you're feeling. And then you have a little bow tie or a bow. We have music notes in different configurations. Uh, we've got a little group of them, an eighth note, and then some more eighth notes there. We have some really fun sentiments, so they're just a little note to say, hope you have an awesome day. Go ahead and toot your own horn, and then, cause you're awesome, and also, it's your birthday. We have happy birthday to you as well. Now we're gonna use our Copic markers to add some color to these fun images. So I thought it would be fun to share a little bit about the inspiration behind this set. Erica, Mike, and I are the three owners of Lawn Fawn. We actually all met playing music in college. We were playing in the orchestra pit for the school musical. Erica was playing flute, Mike was the conductor, and I was playing percussion. So this set has a special place in our hearts because we love music so much and it's how we all met. Um, I also play trumpet and French horn, so this is going to be one of my favorite sets of all time, I think. I would love to hear about what instruments you guys play, so make sure to share it in the comments because I'd love to learn a little bit more about you. Um, and these guys, oh my goodness, they just make me so happy. And look at that cute little raccoon. I'm using some warm grays for the raccoon. That way I can use some cool grays for his flute. The bird is really fun because you can color him a bunch of just different colors depending on what you need for your project. And there's my cute little triangle. I've got my music stand and then a little sheet music. We've got our coordinating dies here, which you can bend apart at the tabs or you can use your wire snips to separate them. We're gonna take the coordinating dies and line them up with our stamped images. We'll hold it in place with some low tack tape, run it through a die cut machine, and then have these beautifully die cut images. And look how just adorable these are. Now the music stand can be used in two ways. If you don't put the sheet music on it, it looks like you're looking at the back of the stand and like the raccoon is looking at his music. Or if you layer the sheet music on it, it's as if you're looking at the music stand yourself. You can give the little bow tie to the conductor, there his, there's his little baton. Or you can make her a percussionist, so you can give her her little triangle there. You can also give her the tambourine and then my favorite is the symbols. So you can put the little symbols in the bird's wings and it looks like he's about to kind of like slam them both together and it just cracks me up every time. Here is the little music notes die set. And we've got a treble clef, a staff, and a bunch of different notes, which you can layer onto the staff or you can also just have them like floating around in the air, which is really cute. We also have that little bird there with his wing, and so you can have little music notes coming out of the bird, which is a really cute and simple die cut card. Now it's time to make a card with all of these elements. So here we've got our itsy bitsy polka dot backdrop. I love this die so much, it's so cool. And we're gonna be die cutting it from some craft cardstock. I'm also going to be creating a card base that's five and a half by four and a quarter. We'll add some glue to the back of that backdrop, and then I'm just gonna layer that right onto the card base. Next up, I'm gonna die cut a stitched scalloped frame here from some white cardstock, and then I'm gonna look through my watercolor wishes paper, and I'm gonna choose kind of that lighter pink color, the darker pink color, and the darker green, and we're gonna die cut a bunch of things from it. But the first thing I'm gonna do is just trim down this piece to two and seven eighths by four and an eighths, and that's gonna go behind my frame. Then I'm gonna use my spring sprig, and I'm gonna die cut two of them from that really pretty green there. And then the spring sprig also has a flower and flower center. So I'm gonna die cut some flowers from the darker pink, and then I'm gonna die cut some flower centers from the lighter pink. Then next, I'm going to add a little glue to the back of the frame and put that pink cardstock behind it, which is just so pretty. 
and then we can start to assemble our little spring sprigs there. So I'm going to add some glue to the centers of the flowers and give them their little flower centers. <laughs> and then we're going to layer those spring sprigs onto that st stitched scallop frame piece that we created earlier. And then we can layer our cute little flowers on those. Now today I'm recreating this gorgeous card by Yainea. So thank you so much Yainea for letting me recreate this for the video. Now once we have our flowers placed, we're going to die cut a fancy folded banner from some white cardstock. I love these banners so much because they have that cool three-dimensional feel. Before we start to fold it, we're going to do our stamping. So I'm actually going to take the back of my stamp set, that little plastic piece on the back, and I'm going to have this help me curve my sentiment. So I want to use the have an awesome day part of that sentiment. So I'm going to curve it while sticking it to that acetate and kind of layering it up with my die. And then I can pick it up with my block in that perfect curved position. Now I'm going to ink this up really carefully, trying to only ink up the have an awesome day part of this sentiment. So you'll see there I'm just kind of being super, super careful. And then I'm going to stamp it onto the banner in that awesome kind of curved look. Now I can go ahead and fold along those score lines that the die created for me. And that's what's going to give this banner that really cool 3D appearance. It's just going to look awesome on this card. Once it's all folded, I'm going to add some little foam dots to the inner part of it and then some glue dots to the outer edges and just layer that right onto my rectangle. And then it's time to start using all of my fun musical critters. So I'm going to take these guys and first layer my music onto my music stand and then kind of position them around my card where I think I might want them to go. Once I have them all in position, then I'm going to stamp all of these little music notes on there before adhering everything. Because I want to put some foam dots on there, I wanted to make sure I could stamp without like popped up critters in the way. So I'm going to stamp my music notes all around, and then I can go back and layer everything. So the guys in the back will be there with some tape runner, and then the guys in the front will put some pop dots just to give it some fun dimension. Now once I have my last little conductor bird on there, I'm going to add some foam dots to the back of this whole thing and then layer that onto the card base that we created earlier. And this card makes me smile so much. I just love the pink and green and the craft. It's just so pretty and it's just so adorable with all these little critters playing music. Now since I already had my craft card stock out and my itsy bitsy polka dot backdrop out, I thought it would be fun to use this similar idea. So I've die cut a stitched rectangle and I'm going to layer that stitched rectangle into my itsy bitsy polka dot backdrop die. And this is now going to give me a backdrop that has the polka dots but also a stitched edge which is really cool. Then I'll create a standard size card base at five and a half by four and a quarter and layer this piece on. And in this case, we're going to be making a tall card or a portrait card instead of a landscape just to make it a little different. Now here I'm taking another stitched rectangle and I'm going to die cut some white cardstock. And then I'm going to take out my tumbled glass distress ink and I'm going to start in the middle of my card and work outward, keeping the edges white on the outside. Now this little piece here, it's actually for our newest shadow box add-on, the ocean shadow box add-on. But in this case, we're going to use it as a little window into the card. So I'm going to keep building up my tumble glass color here. And today I'm actually recreating, this is a card by Elena that was just stunning. So thank you so much, Elena, for letting me recreate your card. Now that I've got all of my tumble glass color on there, I'm going to die cut that window there from the card. And I love the idea of using the window from the shadow box in a card front. It's just really, really fun. I've stamped just a little note to say from the set. And now I've die cut a bunch of pieces from my little music notes. Now I'm going to take a white gel pen and add some detail to this. And when I saw that Elena did this, I thought it looked so cool. It makes them look almost like three dimensional or like puffy. I think it's so much fun. I've trimmed a little piece of white cardstock to go behind my window and I'm going to start layering my music note pieces here. So I've added some adhesive to the back of all of the staffs here and I'm going to layer those on there. Then once I've got those all layered, I'm going to pop up my whole window piece with some foam dots. I've then trimmed down my foam dots into little tiny little squares that I'm going to layer behind these music notes and pop these up. And you can see just how cool these are looking. So we're just going to kind of layer the music notes on there at lots of different angles so that it just has this really, really cool appearance. I'm going to take that last one there and kind of tuck it behind the window so it looks like the music kind of keeps continuing outside the window. 
I've taken one of the cute little bunnies from our new Coaster Critters set, given him some little sheet music there, and then he's hanging out with the trumpet playing bear, which I think is really cute to combine these two sets together. And then here you can see the finished card. This card was really quick and easy to make, but it packs a really big punch and it's just so adorable. So next up, I thought it would be fun to make a pivot pop-up. So that's what we're going to be doing. But first, we're going to decorate the front of our card. So this is a five and a half by four and a quarter inch card, and that's some really rainbow paper. And then this is my watercolor wishes paper, and I'm going to die cut that with an outside in stitched rectangle. And I'm also going to die cut one of the stitched rectangle frames, uh, the scalloped rectangle frames there, from some white cardstock. And then I'll also die cut a green hill, that's also watercolor wishes paper, with a simple stitched hillside border. I'm going to layer that little hillside border on there, and then I'm going to add some glue to the back of my frame and layer my cute little grassy scene to that frame. Next up, I want to stamp my favorite sentiment from the set, which is the go ahead, toot your own horn. But I'm actually going to cut it apart so that I can stack them. The good thing about when you cut stamps apart is if you want it to be straight, you can just stick them right back together and have the sentiment be straight. Or you could also stack it like I did here. So I stack them and then I'm going to stamp that in some black licorice ink and then add my cute little bear on there with some foam dots. And then more foam dots for the back. And we're going to keep the front of the card really simple because now we're going to work on the inside part of the card. So here's my pivot pop-up die. I'm going to cut two of those panels from some watercolor wishes cardstock and I'm also going to cut the grass pieces that go along with those panels from watercolor wishes. The die creates some score lines for us so we're going to fold along those score lines. We're going to fold towards ourselves and then away with our, from ourselves with the tab and then away from ourselves and then towards ourselves from that little score line there just like that. So I have two pieces that are exactly the same. And then I'll add some tape to those two tabs. I'll remove that liner and I'm going to fit those two tabs into each other to create one long piece. So you'll see there we're just going to fit those right in like that. And then I'm going to push down and it's going to look like I have one long continuous piece. Those grass pieces also have some score lines in them. So we're going to fold along those and then add some adhesive to the back of the grass and then line it up with the bottom of our panel. Now once I have my grass pieces lined up, I am going to start to create my fun little musical scene here. And I thought it would be cool for the inside of the card to have like a ton of characters playing instruments. So I've added some glue to the back here of my cymbals and I'm going to have my bird playing the cymbals. And then the other bird is going to be playing the tambourine. Now one of the things I love about this set is that you can use the instruments with different characters. So this is the Forest Feast stamp set and the Sum Bunny stamp set. And so I'm going to make the hedgehog be the conductor, the bunny's going to play the triangle, and the squirrel's going to play the tambourine. So you can take these musical instruments and give them to other characters that you have in your stash. Now I'm going to layer all of my critters onto my scene and also stamp some music notes to make it look like they're just playing really loud, fun music. Now you're going to notice that some of these characters are crossing the fold lines of this pivot pop-up panel piece. So what we need to do is put it in our scoring board and also score through those stamped and die cut images. So there you'll see I'm scoring through the tambourine and through the owl. In this case, I'm going to score through the raccoon and then there through the bird. That's going to mean that now we can fold along those lines and also fold our critters along those lines. So we have a nice full scene, but it still folds along with the interactive element of the card. I'm going to take that same really rainbow paper and layer it into the inside of my card. And then I've die cut my pivot pop-up mechanism from white cardstock. I'm going to fold down the center score line away from myself. And then I'm going to open that right back up and then fold along the diagonal score lines towards myself. So towards myself and now the other one towards myself. Then I'm going to take my index fingers, put it behind the pivot pop-up, and push in to create this arrow shape. Then I'm going to take some nice strong score tape and I'm going to add it to one side of the arrow there and then the other side of the arrow. I'm going to remove the liner tape on my little arrow tops there and then I'm going to open up my pivot pop-up mechanism and I'm going to use that little circle there as my viewfinder to find the center score line of my card. Once I've got that in the middle, I can push down on that top triangle. Now I'm going to use my index fingers and push in again to form my arrow. And then I'm going to close my card on to the other part of that arrow. And as I open it up, you can see that the mechanism is now working. 
I'm going to be adding some tape there to the little arms sticking off of the pivot pop-up mechanism. And that's what's going to hold our panel piece. So we're going to line up our panel piece right with the center there. And then we're going to push down on those outer kind of wing arms of that mechanism. Then we're going to fold our piece in, guiding it closed just like that. And then we're going to push down on our card to kind of help fold those score lines. Then open it up. And then we're going to guide it closed one more time push down again, then we're going to open and close it a bunch of times because that's what's going to get that mechanism really working. Now I've die cut a outside in stitch scallop rectangle and I've stamped the cuz you're awesome thing on there and then I'm going to layer that there so that I can write my message below and now you can see how fun this is. I love that it's plain and simple on the front but when you open it up you have all of those musicians playing all of those music notes. It just makes me smile. It's so happy and so fun and I can't wait to send this card to someone. Here is the look at the three cards we made today. We've got some more simple cards and then a fun interactive card. And then here's another interactive card with the reveal wheel that we made in the intro to reveal wheel video with Critter Concert that just makes me smile. We have some amazing cards by the design team and I just love this fun and happy scene by Elise. Here's the card by Yainea that inspired me to make my card today. We have a gorgeous card by Kay, and I love her little strips of rainbow cardstock with the black accents. It's just so much fun. And then I love this gorgeous watercolored scene by Letitia. It's just so beautiful, and I love the unique colors on the critters. This card by Audrey is so much fun. I love the itsy bitsy polka dot backdrop in black and white. And then here's the card by Elena that inspired me to make mine today. I just love how she added those white accents onto the little, little music note dies. I love how Lizzie layered the three trumpeting bears. It's just so cute and so adorable. And she stamped the Cuz You're Awesome on the inside of the card. We have a really fun scene by Lynette, and I love how she used some perfectly plaid spring paper. These guys are just so adorable. And then Nicole created a really fun reveal wheel where you can show the little, just a little note to say, and then the words are going to change on the inside. And then I love this card by Shari and how she added the little music notes to the outer edges. So I cannot wait to see what you guys create with Critter Concert, so make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today and have an absolutely amazing day. Bye!